Hi, it's Derby Eve, and here we are with the great Rich Lurie, otherwise known as Oscar, what's Oscar's last name? The original Oscar? Oscar Barrera. Oscar Barrera, that's where he gets his name, that's his nom de plume, as he's a handicapper and uh, extraordinaire. So we are in Connecticut right now, and we have the pleasure of a rare interview as we go through the Oscars green sheet <laughs> um, to talk about, you know, the various things in this derby, which Rich says he's got 15 favorites in the race, which gives you an idea of what we're up against. I mean, the other five are going to finish one through five. What? The other five will finish one through five. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, exactly. So we'll pick the back of the pack because that's just the way it is. And we're going to have rain, which is like, oh. fuck it. It's like mind that bird all over again, right? Is that what it's going to be? Giacomo. Giacomo. Some wet day at the track. Um, I'm still very bullish on a Mission Impossible. Holy and then, bullish? Holy bullish. See, now Rich can make jokes over everything. So now we're going to turn the camera to Rich, who does not want to be on camera, so we're going to look at his fish. Okay. John Henry. John Henry. Okay, John Henry. How are you today? No, no, no. You have to talk. Okay, let's talk a little bit about. Uh, let's talk the, about the races. Let's talk about the races. Okay. Um, all right. You you have four questions here, Rich. Um, breeding fast enough, proper experience, looks and works well and looks great at CD with no hiccups. All right. It would have been ask Andrea. Ask Andrea. Now, have you changed your format to since the post? Uh, you know, post positions. You know the way you used to do with the trace the sire to raise a natives career starts. Have that? I look you, at it, but I don't use it to eliminate it. You don't do that anymore. No. It's elimination. That's There's what's too many changed. People were winning like Barbaro, Giacomo. As is, it's okay. Bird. Too many exceptions yes. to the rules, yeah. so you've kind of stayed away from it. Okay. Um, it looks like you your top pick is here. Well, looking okay, at lucky. lucky. Okay, um, Jim Dandy winner, outstanding pedigree for the distance, and he tries hard, and um, kind of reminds you of a fleet Alex. Athletic okay. horse. Okay. Who can overcome a lot of obstructions. All right, that'll be a nice thing, and we're definitely going to put him in the mix for sure. I even I will. Look the way he stopped in the Santa Anita Derby and came back. Yeah, to that's well, yes. Third. That's a nice, yes, that's a real, right, I love that. Yeah. That's a, a horse that doesn't give up, that overcomes those sorts of things. Okay. Uh, oh, fucking Bob Baffert, though. But you're not. He's got derbies. He knows how to turn a horse to the derby. He's got winners. <sighs> that's. A man can train, forget his personality. He can train. All right. Doesn't use drugs like Dutrol. Okay. And Mike Pegram doesn't own looking at Lucky, does he? Yes, he does. Oh. What is it? Stick it in her? Is it is in it good? Is it in good? Is it in good? <laughs> Mike Pegram is a dirty old man who owns, like, fast food joints, right? And use cars and whatever. He's like a piece of shit. I think he's like McDonald's or he's something. He's like McDonald's, whatever. And um, there's Rich... Look at this very young man over here. His birthday. John coming, Henry's so. going to be two. And John Henry's going to be two. He's talking about John Henry. I'm talking about Rich. But anyway. Um, John Henry the fish. The fish. Um, and then there's Hootie and the Bluefish. Rich can, like, change, turn everything into a horse thing. And we will test that later. Because this is great. This video is great. Okay. Um, Mike Pegram and his dirty named horses, they've been a, a paired for a long time. He loves giving horses really bad names. Can you remember any others besides Is It In Good? It's like really offensive names. He had a couple I can't think of. Yeah, I can't either. But they were like really bad. All right, looking at Lucky is he's actually like coming around to giving a decent name for the horse, so. The horse hasn't been lucky in the last three races. Okay, but that doesn't concern he's, you, he's right? He's still looking for luck. He's looking for luck in the last three races. The one hole. Draws the one hole. Not lucky, but a good scrapper will hit the board at least. You're going to put them all over all the spots, yeah. right? 
key him. That means in all three spots. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Sydney's candy. Let's talk about Sydney's candy. That's another one. I don't like the front running. What do you think? I think they'll try and stalk with him, but I don't know from the leaving from post twenty. Oh. So he's going to be hung out to dry on that turn. Too much speed inside of him. I don't see him winning. No. How about hitting the board? Possibly. 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 Depends but not. On the trip. It depends on the trip. It's good enough. Okay. Who's this jockey? Um. I got it here, Rich. Oh, here we go. Sydney's Candy is written by. What the fuck? Oh, Talamo. Is Talamo any good? Um, he's a kid, but he's good. He's a kid, but he's good. Okay. I mean, Steve Coffin was a kid and he was good, and Ronnie Franklin, I mean, he won derbies. Okay. Um, all right, I was looking at him too. John Sadler, he's hardly a minor league player. Um, not lone speed. Maybe the speed of the speed. But I don't think he will be with that post position. He'll, he'll take yes, back. Yes, he'll take back. Jeez. He'll try and stop. Convey Baffert has already said conveyance is going to the lead. Oh, really? Yeah. So he's like the rabbit? Oh, well, Lana Davis is going to be right with him. Okay. And um, probably uh, American Lion. Okay. If it's a wet They set track. up for a closer. They do. Yeah. But if it's a wet track. What, Stately Victor? Stately Victor? Not a wet track. Yeah. Red both sides from mud. Really? Yeah. You, you hear that, everybody? Stately Victor, bird both sides from mud. You going to put him in? Put him in. Have okay. to. Have to. Yeah. When Rich says he has to, watch out. Yeah, I'm going to go in. I'll go in with you if you want to, like, buy a... Big one, because we can make a lot of money. We, we could. I mean, it won't be cheap. To I'll go in, in. But it'll be... If we key... Looking at Lucky and Icebox. Oh, okay. About nine or ten. Okay. I'll do it with you, Rich. Not this cheap, guy... but if it hits the board, you'll, you'll be talking hundreds. Hundreds. Or more. I, oh, or could more. be... Well, depending on who wins, yeah. It could be over a thousand. All right. I'm in, Rich. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. This guy knows his stuff. Because this is a hard race. Jackson Bend. Another one I was kind of looking at. What do you think? Very consistent, but he has the pedigree to go a mile and an eighth and stop. But he's so gutsy. you got to put him in just because he's... Looks like my that bird. He's a pony. He's a little guy. Okay. But he just... He finished second to Escandrea twice. Okay. If Escandrea had been hurt... For the Fountain of Youth, you're looking at the Fountain of Youth, the Fountain of Youth winner and the wood winner in Jackson Bend. Here's this sheet. We're gonna see in the sunlight. Well, it's a little blurry. Okay. All right. Oh, this race is so fucking wide open. That's why we gotta go in for the big dollars. Nick Zito. It's a gut shot, but. It's a gut shot. You know, anything can happen. And I'll tell you, this is a race where anything can happen. Yeah, last year, I wouldn't have had mine that I had Pioneer of the Nile. I had the second horse. I had the third horse, Musket Man. Right. Didn't have mine that bird anywhere. Nobody did. He would have been one of the five I would have eliminated. <laughs> yeah. This, yeah. I hate those races. That's like, that's like, um, oh God, Rick's Natural Star winning the Breeders' Cup. I well, mean, that's how, like. He's a little more talented than Rick's Natural Star. <laughs> <laughs> Rick's <laughs> natural star that was like, how did that ever happen? Why did they how did they stop that from happening? How did he ever get that horse in? I don't know. I don't know. That was in Canada. That was the Canada yeah. one. That was that was a that was the a only funny horse one. he could have beaten was Zippy Chippy. Zippy Chippy. <laughs> That's good. Icebox is your bud long shot mine yeah. too. I like Icebox. Race with works out in the mud. Closing style. Sets up for Nick Zito. Been there before. Okay. Post two is not the best, but it's not going to hurt him. He wants to be along the rail anyway until he kicks in, so he saves ground. Okay. Loving that, Rich. Let's see. When we get to nine minutes. Okay, we're going to start a new one. 